Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the new chairman of the Ohio Republican Party. Thank you. So I think the first order of business is that Justice Cup has to swear me in. And uh, so uh, <coughs> prepare. Yes. yes. <laughs> In your right hand, or repeat after me. I, Robert T. Bennett. I, Robert T. Bennett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. And I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. Mm -hmm. That I will obey the rules and bylaws. And the rules and bylaws. Of the Republican and National and Committee. Of the National Committee. The rules and bylaws. The rules and bylaws. Of the Republican State. Republican State Center. The duties of the office of chairman. The duties of the office of chairman. Which I was elected. Which I was elected. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And I will still help you, God. Thank you, Justice. I want to uh, first. Uh, Offer my heartfelt appreciations for your support here today. I'm truly honored by your actions. Leadership, I believe, uh, as the leaders of our party, so I serve as your agent, and I'm responsible for turning your leadership into daily action. In your past, you found a resume of my political experience. And much of that experience was gained in service to this committee. I'm proud of that record, and I'm proud of the work I have done with previous committees. But in politics, experience is not everything. In fact, without the energetic support behind it, experience alone cannot carry the day. And that's why I applaud the new energy that has been infused into this committee. You could see it and you could feel it last night in our reception. We have gained people like former Congressman Bob McCune. I'd like Bob to stand up because Bob is excited about adding his strong voice. Stand up. <laughs> is to a brand new uh, He's volunteered to offer his voice in a brand new setting in bracketing our opposition this fall and working on the college campuses and in those ring counties and those rural counties that are going to be so important to us in winning the election and beating the problem. Those are exactly the areas that we must maximize our party's vote. And Bob's voice has exactly the right pitch to get that job done. We're going to more clearly define that role between now and our May meeting. If these previous remarks uh, tell you something about my style, I think they should. You will find me reaching out to the exceptional talent that exists on this committee. You will find me always open to you. When you call me, you will talk to me. When you haven't called me, I'm going to call you. <laughs> and I will seek you out when I'm visiting your communities for your advice and counsel. And I urge you to do one other thing. I urge you to come to Columbus to visit me and visit our staff when you're in Columbus. It's important that we have a consensus. There are many good ideas in politics, but the best ideas to improve the quantity when all the voices are heard, all the views are considered, and all the team members work together. I will seek to implement plans developed in this fashion. And make no mistake about it, we are united. Outsiders chattering about Republican unity in Ohio need not be concerned. President 
Barack Obama unites us, believe me. <laughs> we are united around Republican leadership that will restore the value of our homes. It will create private sector jobs for the unemployed and the underemployed. It will reduce the burden of the mounting government debt. And it will let our families, churches, and children choose their own way. And we'll have leadership that will repeal Obamacare. The work ahead, we must now put that unity to work. The work begins today and will continue at a furious pace for months to come. We must now organize and deliver our vote on Election Day for our outstanding congressional and legislative delegations, our candidate for the United States Senate, Josh Mandel, and our presumptive presidential candidate, Mitt Romney. We must be organized to continue to support for Governor John Casey and his innovations that are beginning to put Ohio back on top. And that's a big shift to turn around and his innovative programs uh, is going to make a big difference between now and uh, 2014. Our strategy in, is simple. We discover and deliver every Republican vote in Ohio. It's going to take a lot of work. Our tactics will be demanding. We will have to comb the poll books, the phone books, and the social networks. We will have to network in person and online better than we ever had before. We will work with each other, we'll pick each other up, and we'll back each other up. We will have to serve more coffee, probably better tea, than we ever thought we could. And we'll have to spend more time on the phone than at any time in our lives, believe me. And that's just for starters. <coughs> the investment grant campaign that I ever worked on was in 2004. And many of you here on the committee will remember that, that time. It was led by Joanne Davidson, who was the, the chairman of the uh, Bush re-election campaign. Republicans were able to overcome a 300,000 vote plus Democrat lead in Cuyahoga County by getting the suburban and the rural vote to the polls. It had never been as done as well before. But this campaign is going to have to be even better. It will be better because of you, not me. It will be better because your ideas will make it better, and your energy will make it better, and your organization ability will make it better. And you will make the difference in the future of our state and our nation. And for that, I thank you for the honor of leading you as your chairman.